Saturday morning and we're off somewhere. I don't know where we're going again. I think we're off to Bewley actually, but there you go. The weather's not too good, a bit cloudy, but who cares? It's not too cold and we look to enjoy a few hours of, of walking and looking around Bewley. And we'll show see you when around. we get there. Yeah. Keep might, subscribing. Might see a few horses on the way. Thank you. On our way to Bewley now. Um, this road through the forest takes us through where animals can roam and here we got a herd of cows nice white ones nice young ones as well beautiful animals big horns and they can roam wherever they like here we have some more cows just roaming around on the road we have to avoid Unfortunately, on occasion, some of them Here we get... are, we just arrived in Beauty Road, and my husband, as you can see him up there, he's just getting our ticket, so um, we don't get fine later on. We're going to show you around the area. I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, we'll see you later. We left the car park, and this is right next door. Uh, we see a few classic cars here. There's a couple of Jaguars. Fantastic. Really nice board. The old Capri, everyone's favourite. Mercedes, of course. What's next? BMW. BMW drivers, what a pain. Anyway, nice MG. That's really nice. Convertible. Great. And this one, I don't know. I think anybody might remember the Saint used to drive one of these as a Volvo. Very good. Another Jaguar. And a Triumph to finish off with an MG. And this is just across the road from Bewley Motor Museum, which is over the other side of the river. And if we just Take a look over there, we can see some man who's feeding the swans. Over there. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, here we are on the side of the Uni River. This is above the, the mill. This is the mill pond, basically. And over, over the road there, you can see what they call Palace House, if uh, Lord Montague lives. Uh, a fair number of wild birds here, and this is gentleman who's feeding the swans. I, I think he must be fairly local. Uh, and works for the, uh, <coughs> for the Montague estate. Lavatories for public conveniences. So, and the village hall is down that way. Cast iron. Okay, from the sign that you just saw, this when I was a lad, this building here used to be the public lavatory. And um, you had the ladies and the gents' um, doorways to get in. But now it's you can see it's a very expensive cottage center of Bewley village and you can see Monty's was the Montague Arms Hotel. Uh, very old, um, very posh and 
a lot of eccentric people stay there. Up this way is the high street, so it is very old buildings as you can see, and it's now a very popular tourist attraction. through here turns the wheel um, but during the Second World War they decided it was a good place to put some uh, protection so they got some holes in these walls that they used they put machine guns in to protect the roads and if you turn around you'll see they would be protecting this road coming up over the bridge into the village Palace House again. You see the sun is just coming up, but on the theme of the Second World War, this building across the river, as you can see, was turned into another machine gun emplacement and inside there it's reinforced with concrete and they used to uh, they had the machine guns facing out of the, the entrance into from this road here and across as you look across there's the entrance gate to uh, the palace house uh, the, the seat of Lord Montague as you can see his flag flying from the top of the building Here is a view of uh, Palace House, the stately home of Lord Montague, flag flying from the top, and also see the gatehouse to the left, which used to be the entrance. Uh, it's not used very much these days. Okay, this is a, a horse chestnut tree. Um, and it, when we were lads, of course, we used to shake down all these conkers, we call them, and you put them on a string, and you had a game of trying to break your opponent's conquer. Conquers. Okay. Underneath the chestnut tree, um, you can look across the river and see these rather wonderful, uh, very expensive houses that uh, people have got. They've got their own little docks so they can bring their boats up when the tide's in. Uh, and uh, we shall be walking down that way behind these houses very shortly. And you might even get a view of the other side. Okay, this is Fire Station Lane, and you can see Fire Station across the road. This is the start of our walk. But if we look behind us, we will see this uh, this structure. There's a, there's a bunker used in the Second World War, and you can see the uh, the holes, which would be useful for. Sending out machine gun fire. You're looking a very far too close now. You won't see a lot in there. Anyway, if you look over here, I can see basically all all the uh, information about the Dad's army. In the Bureau in the Second World War. Okay, and as you can see, this, these emplacements would have a good view right across the river that would prevent any invasion from those Germans. This is the uh start of our trail as you can see all the houses in there where the rich people live see how big the houses are as you can see
actually start our walking through, through the country, walking down by the side of the river, as you can see, just over there, through that field. That's the river that we were looking at a short while ago. Now we've got to get through this gate. There we go. Okay, along this walk, there's uh, various uh, indications of what we're walking through. And this is a part that shows it's ancient woodland. And it tells you we've got some certain birds and, uh, uh, and butterflies. And uh, there's a lot of oak trees here. Lovely sound of birds. And that is the uh, trail. Okay, this is a good little walk. Like a lot of others, you can't get lost. Because you have these signposts that tell you which way to go. And when you come back, you go in the reverse direction. And we continue on this way. Okay, we've walked about a mile so far. But as you can see, we're going to have to go all the way down there and I think that's only about uh, half or even less of the distance we have to go to get to the end. When we came here before we used to be able to walk this way and we can get down by, walk, walk by the river and unfortunately it's been closed off due to soil compaction and the trampling of vegetation by walkers and cyclists over many years so they've closed it down and uh, which is very unfortunate because it was a beautiful little walk so we have to walk now down this straight path all the way very uninteresting and there's a nice little robin on the fence there looking at you Okay, how would you like to live in this uh, nice country house here? We've got uh, rather large paddocks to keep horses in. Uh, see some geese down there, those little white birds. Ah, very nice and quite pleasant. As you can see, we've almost got to the uh, end of the walk, but we're just approaching Butler's Hard, and this is the marina here. You can see quite a few uh, sailing yachts and other boats which we will be seeing a bit closer a bit later on. Okay along the way you can see some of these wild fruits these are blackberries obviously the, when they're ripe they're black and when they're ripening they're a nice red colour. Okay here's uh, part of the marina in Buckler's Hard as you can see and where we are standing at the moment, just on the pathway into Buckley Park, there is this uh, building that was used by Lord Montague back in the 1700s as a bathhouse. Used to come down here to have a bath, I assume. <laughs> This is Buckler's Hard itself. If we uh, just move on up this hill, you'll see these uh, cottages that were uh, used by the workers. They used to um, make the boats that were made here with oak back with for Henry VIII. talking about the cottages that were used. These is now, or this end of this row, has been turned into a hotel and restaurant. It's been that way for many, many years. So we are heading to that table for a little break or a little drink of coffee. Break. Let's have a 
cheers. Cheers. Mm. Here we are. Certainly enjoying a coffee. Well, I'm not. Arlene is. Yeah. And this, cheers. this is our, our view we can see of the marina. Very quiet. It's, yeah, it's nearly nearly nine o'clock. Not many people about, so we're taking advantage of it. Sun shining. Beautiful day. Okay, this is where we started from, Beaulieu Village, and we walked all the way this way, following the footpath. This is the one we couldn't go on by the river, so we went straight on. Back to here and where we are now at Buckless Hard. And we're going back. Okay. Here at the, at the marina you could uh, pick up a, a cruise at various times of day as displayed on this notice board and uh, it will take you a, for a cruise all the way down the river to, to the open sea pretty much into the Solent and uh, back again and you can see now where, where the river goes. And the, travels down there between the trees all the way out well worth it here's a, here's a little yacht coming by at the current and that will travel down out into the Solent our friend of course Maida and her husband Mark have, uh, have a yacht like this we might be catching up with them tomorrow We don't like the water ourselves, we get a bit seasick, so um, we don't go out very often. guys we're at the end we're having a coffee uh, we hope, hope you've enjoyed this particular post and uh, like like and uh, subscribe, subscribe of course and make any comments you think you might like to see us do some other things yeah um, but we look forward to seeing you next time I hope you enjoyed it it's good fun yeah mm -hmm.